The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your wonderful host of the aforementioned Power Trading Hour. And as always, it doesn't really matter where you are or where I'm at, although I'm at home, uh, as long as we're here at the appointed time. <laughs> The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what did we have? We had a fairly big signal on Friday, and that was uh, 18 billion shares uh, from the uh, CBOE consolidated tape. That matched the previous low of 18 billion, uh, although we were a little bit uh, lower. So it was about the same. Uh, didn't blow through the lows, closed a little bit higher. And uh, do I have it here? Maybe I have it. Let me see if I can't find it. One of the more interesting things I think I had in the newsletter. Uh, no, did I delete it? I did it. Maybe it's in the, maybe it's in the newsletter because I thought it was one of the biggest signals that I've ever seen in the market. Let me see if I can't find it here. Uh, yeah, there it is. Let me bring it over here for a second. Uh, the TD9 count um, for the 8s on Friday. Um, I don't talk a lot about TD9s because uh, they're not, you know, a number just because it got to 9. that Your odds increase, but it's not uh, a burning bush. Uh, in the markets, you can get markets uh, that extend and a lot of markets that uh, you can't get a TD9 count below a six uh, over time. Uh, but, uh, man, did you have a ton of stocks uh, already eight days down. And, you know, when you have a few of them or some of them, kind of interesting. But to see uh, maybe a little over a 1,000 shares, or I mean a 1,000 uh, stocks uh, on a TD9 gives you great pause what is this is uh, out of about 5,000, uh, that uh, you're almost at a bottom. All my sector oscillators had almost everything at the lows, uh, and you gave it your best shot. Now, does that mean uh, that uh, if we have a what Wyckoff called a selling climax, that you don't come back there? And the answer is no. Uh, but generally, as Steve was saying about five minutes into his uh, the end of his show, uh, you can get some fairly extensive and long uh, retracements off of a counter trend moves off of some lows. Uh, the volume would suggest, since we had a lot of volume, would suggest that we are going to come back and retest those lows of last week again. Uh, doesn't say how soon. You've got two really big different signals. You've got that selling climax signal from a Wyckoff point of view. Uh, and you've got, uh, you know, which is basically the, the price movement and the volume, but not being able to blow out the lows. Uh, then you've got some of the other things like TD9s, my sector oscillators. A lot of them had just been down for like five days to levels uh, that say that it's getting time to buy. Uh, but, uh, you know, you have just that much in the way of uh, outliers uh, for the market that we were in due for a bounce. Now, there's a few things going on today. First is options rollover. After a big rollover, and especially after quad witching, uh, you'll get a day and a half. I'm going to say this time because of uh, the shortened week, normally on Monday and Tuesday, You'll have one day that's up and one day that's down. Um, I'm suspecting that what we're going to get is a strong day up today, 
maybe a little bit of a pullback uh, tomorrow, uh, maybe through the lunch, and then maybe we're going to start seeing this thing try to claw its way back up uh, to about 4,000 on the S&P cash. Now, time forecasting is, uh, is a lot tougher than price forecasting because a lot of things can happen. You can get there a lot sooner, a lot later. But my sus I am suspecting that we're going to probably see something uh, where this uh, takes us up all the way through uh, the week of the 4th of July. So we'll have another three-day weekend. Uh, there's uh, at least one of the things I've been talking about in the newsletter for a while is uh, whether or not we're going to see uh, a, the executive branch start to fold on gas prices. Uh, although they want really high gas prices to make us all want to buy electric cars, electric cars are 120 grand or 140 for most of them. There isn't enough uh, uh, lithium ion uh, or lithium for lithium ion batteries or any other kind of batteries. Most of them are made from rare earths. So kind of a pipe dream of believing that uh, if we could just jack the price of gas up, uh, the EVs will flow. Um, there's still less than a half a percent of all cars sold uh, in the world. Uh, you know, th there is the idea that maybe we can just force people into it. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, things probably just going to get worse. But uh, at this point, uh, I think the executive has folded uh, to the pressure of uh, the House and Senate uh, ra uh, running for uh, office. Uh, to give at least a little bit of a respite from it. We've got, uh, you know, talk of uh, uh, what some people call a gimmick by getting rid of the taxes. That's about a quarter a gallon. Uh, that'll help a little bit. And then, of course, uh, trying to ask uh, for the kindness of strangers uh, for the Saudi Arabians to start pumping more fuel. And it looks like they've started a little bit to that way already. I had some people ask me about uh, my theories on on uh, uh, natural gas. Let's go ahead and look at boil. I don't see a whole lot of reasons to think, as I have said before, that there is a change in this. Uh, we are down to uh, 60 on boil. Uh, you are finally where you probably should have at least some level of support. This goes back... To a gap higher and a gap lower, the last uh, gap on this was on uh, April 5th, if you want to go back at, as home gamers and take a look. But you have uh, pretty much an equal gap higher and lower. Uh, the previous gap on that started back on November 9th of 2021. Uh, so you're back to what should be fairly decent support. Uh, you have a big reversal day. If you want to see what an abandoned baby or a shooting star is, uh, this is the kind of uh, signal uh, that you can't miss. A proverbial priority push on the uh, 2nd of February this year in oil. Uh, that's what you're looking for in Canada. Something to be playing out there. Anyway, uh, we're back uh, just above that a day of uh, 2nd of February. We're back in the... of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. And we're back. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just early, uh, it's a uh, abandoned baby, just uh, thrown out with the bathwater, the old Nissan uh, candlestick references. Uh, anyway, that is, uh, if you're looking for one, that is it. Uh, anyway, uh, back to a market already in progress. Let's do a little history, and then we shall move on and upward. <coughs> Just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1965, the Birds' album, their debut, Mr. Tambourine Man, marked the beginning of the folk rock revolution. In just a few months, the Birds had become a household name with a number one single and a smash hit album that married the ringing guitars and backbeat of British Invasion with the harmonies and lyrical depth of folk to create an entirely new sound. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I find it kind of irritating now. I kind of, oh, I really like the part in uh, in Animal House where Bluto comes down the stairs and catches. God, what's the guy's name? I'm trying to remember the actual singer that was on the stairs. Just grabs his guitar and starts beating it to death. But uh, eh, we moved out of this part. Uh, of uh, the British invasion within a couple of years, but I didn't have to live through it, so that's all that mattered. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was it? I want to say. I think he is the same guy that uh, did the... What else was he? He had a bunch of songs. Anyway, 877 uh, uh, the birds are not on my playlist, but eh, I could see how it changed some stuff from the way it went. 877-927-6648 as we bring up some charts to start talking about it. Uh, let's take a quick look at UNG2 because you are finally at least at some support levels. Let's see what uh, the old UNG, pretty much the same kind of thing. Uh, let's uh, get this cleaned up a little bit so you can see it just a tad better. 
Okay. Uh, anyway, we're back to two, uh, well, I'm going to say three attempts at this level that go back to the 11th of April. Uh, and uh, that uh, gap up had 8.7 million shares. You came back with 8.5, then 13 million shares. But uh, Friday, about 7 million shares. Today, about four. So Spartan, starting to see some support in here. As I said before, you've got some real seasonal weakness about this time of year. You want to be looking about the mid part of, uh, of August to start dipping your toe back in the water. Uh, yes. But what is his name? What's his name? I, he was, uh, he was, uh, does it say in here? He was a, if I said his name, you would know it instantly. Um, in Animal House. It's going to drive me nuts. But uh, I shall remember. Uh. <laughs> Uh, oh, what happened here? There was something. Uh, yeah, his arms in the photo. Let's go. Oh, anyway, someone I'm sure will email me at path at tfnn.com and let me know or give me a call at 877-927-6648. So what do we have? Uh, again, we kind of got to support levels uh, that go back to some longer gaps. Uh, in the uh, spies, eh, you really have kind of a little bit of a reversal pattern with a gap up here. What I would love to see uh, to buy this and probably hang on through mid, uh, maybe that first week of July, uh, is maybe a pullback of about half of what we have here today. Now, we talked a little bit about the other signals that we'd been looking at. Uh, on Friday, and that was these three gap plays. So a lot of times you get the three gaps, and then it's just over. You got one extra day, and you're back up into this gap. Now, the theory on three gap plays uh, generally is if you're in a regular market, not horribly bullish or bearish, is that you're going to come back up and at least try to fill all three gaps. Uh, it tends to get filled very quickly on the way down. It takes a much longer time to fill them on the way back up. But if you're thinking about counter moves that could last kind of a while uh, on the spies, you could get right back up to 400, which is kind of one of the reasons why I think we could see a 400 uh, print uh, or 4,000 print on the S&P cash itself coming back into those gaps. So pretty good indication of a, a three gap play here. And the idea of a three gaps is you get three really large gaps down and then it will go back and try to fill those three gaps. Uh, and sometimes it's, uh, it's generally on a daily, it's not something that gets filled in a couple of days uh, unless it, those gaps are on the way up. On the way down as they're here, they take a little longer. So could we see this thing kind of fool around him and Ha do a couple of two steps forward, one step back days uh, and uh, see that we get to maybe the end of that uh, first week of July and start seeing 400 prints. That's probably it. That'd make a nice 50 percent kind of a retracement, maybe even a 60 percent retracement. Uh, and I think it's probably nothing but a kind of a relief rally so far. And maybe we don't get up to that, but you got a pretty good chance of, I'm going to say 80% chance of at least hitting somewhere in that gap on the spies. Now, the, uh, uh, the open of that day, which is kind of where I'm looking at this thing starting, was 394. So you don't quite have to hit 400, but generally hitting somewhere around that, uh, uh, that uh, day, uh, that uh, open of and what's called 395, 396, 397. Uh, if you're feeling fairly bearish, that would probably be the best risk reward that is coming in the near future. Stephen Bishop, thank you. Somebody I couldn't, I just couldn't, <laughs> I just couldn't remember. On and on, there was a bunch of songs in the 70s, wasn't it? Or was he in the 80s? I think it was the late 70s, early 80s. Stephen Bishop. He's also in a classic movie called Kentucky Fried Movie. And uh, 
uh, in a short in that movie called Catholic High School Girls in Trouble. Kind of a uh, uh, a farce on the uh, typical, uh, no, Bluto is John Belushi. I knew that. It was the singer. It was him. Uh, but uh, he was, uh, yeah, it was a, uh, a, uh, a homage uh, to exploitation movies of the 70s, the drive-ins. Uh, well, we'll be back in a minute. 877-927-6648. Back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, we'll take a look at some more. Let's go to the usual suspects that everybody is always talking about. Uh, let's take a look and just see the last uh, little bit here. you got a gap up on Apple. Uh, this is why I think we're probably going to get a bit of a re uh, pullback either tomorrow or the next day. But I think it'll probably start tomorrow. Uh, you gapped up from this gap down. So far, the volume is about 50 million shares uh, to the gap down of 107 million shares. We've got about an hour and a half left. Uh, not the best. Um, we did have some numbers come out over the weekend that I thought were very interesting for NVIDIA and AMD. Uh, we did find out that it was always kind of uh, hard to tell 
how many of these video cards were sold to Bitcoin miners. Uh, but uh, Wall Street Journal did have a fairly good in-depth article, and they've come up with the idea that they've sold $15 billion worth of video cards for mining crypto currencies out here. Um, AMD did have fairly nice low on Friday with 105 million shares. That goes back to the May 12th low at 83.27. So it went below it, and now it's back above it. That had 130 million shares. So you're about 25 million shares lighter. Today, not so much, 68 million shares, but um, a nice little gap up. Let's look at some of the other ones in VDA. Okay. Okay. Everybody's talking about MU today. Um, I think, at least uh, in the short term, maybe not in the long term, people are talking about MU. You did have a bounce, but it's not that big of one out here. Your volume's fairly light. There is a thought that all those video cards are going to come to market. Uh, when they came to market before on the first big downtrend, uh, it was still hard to get video cards. Uh, but uh, if you're talking about $15 billion worth of video cards that could get possibly sold, remember, we are now below the price of production for most uh, cryptocurrencies. And that means that they've turned their machines off uh, because they use more electricity than they're more th uh, than they're likely uh, if they're lucky to get, if uh, cryptocurrencies get mined for them. So you got a little doji out here today, but I think there's a lot of pressure right now. Micron made a lot of its money, maybe half of its money, on VRAM for those video cards. And while you're getting a bounce out of here today, uh, the overhang of those video cards are going to be probably what people are talking about for a while in VDA. I continue to save my pennies because I need a $4,000 video card, but uh, that's it. Now, for NVIDIA, it looks a little bit better, and my guess is because they have a different business uh, than just video cards itself. Uh, they are selling a lot of specialized technology uh, to big business, and that will continue unabated and unaffected by Bitcoin miners to a greater extent than AMD will. Uh, you've got uh, kind of not is as good as a low may 12th uh 71 million shares in nvidia at 50 155.67 uh you got it with 63 million shares at the max so you know is it lighter yeah you have a good gap today with a little better volume yes um but uh, again uh energy on the way up is about the same on the energy on the way down and that generally connotes at best some kind of trading range so can you get a short squeeze and a move higher in these? You can. I think it's probably going to be September. Uh, in fact, we got some decent uh, dates uh, from NVIDIA and AMD about their next edition video cards. And it's kind of an arm race, uh, arms race. So you're always looking for the, less, uh, the latest card if you're a gamer uh, or if you're in machine learning. Um, but there are probably going to be a ton of video cards available from those crypto miners uh, that go belly up on this. 877-927-6648. Uh, and I thought I had something. Did it go away? Yeah, I think it did. I don't know why that did. So let's go back here and open this back up just so I know. And see. Okay, I've got a, did that, it? it still shows I've got a something, a question here, but I don't know where it's at. Okay. Hmm. We shall see. It says I've got one over here too. Do I have it up here maybe? I don't know where this question is on my screen. Okay. Someone may have private messaged me, but I don't know how in the... Well, it's gone away now. So who knows? Okay. 877-927-6648. Uh, anyway, we're looking at NVIDIA. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other 
uh, Fang stocks. Although now that they've changed their name to Metamucil, is it a Mang stock? Hard to tell. Anyway, uh, Microsoft did kind of blow out, never really had a good signal. Uh, you're back really just into the candle of the 10th of this month. That was down on 31 million shares. You're up on 15 million shares. So the big cap stocks um, are higher, but they're still problematic. You may need to pull back to about 247.50 on lighter volume to find uh, any kind of low. But I think a lot of these stocks, as I said, it may take us into the first or second week of July uh, to get through a counter move in a market, if that's all this is, a counter move higher. But uh, you had lots of short positions. You had a lot of people. You had a lot of stocks uh, that were incredibly washed out. So uh, can you go up on no volume? I've seen that too. But uh, my guess is we're probably going to have a few weeks of higher prices. But it's going to be a lot of uh, two steps forward, one step back. And uh, I think one step back comes tomorrow. Uh, okay. Is that... Uh Am I live on that? I hope I am. Okay, let's go back to this. Okay, and that. How come I can't? Uh, there we go. Okay. Finally got back. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, okay. PSLV. Take a quick look at that. P S L V. Ah. Okay. Physical silver. Uh, on the good side is you came down and had light volume uh, a few days ago. The downside is you had more energy on that move from June 6th down uh, to June 14th. So I don't see a lot going on in there. Let's take a quick look at the GLD. See if anything else. These th things all just kind of look like they're going uh, sideways. Okay. We come back, we'll look at GLD a little bit longer and some of the other FANG stocks and some of the other stocks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we come back uh, to the really big show today, uh, not a lot of movement here uh, over the last few minutes, uh, up about 94 points on the S&P cash. As I said, uh, ideally, you want to see a pullback of about 50 percent of today's move higher. It's going to be a bit of a short squeeze and then a pullback tomorrow. And then maybe we have something to hang our hat on, depending on how the volume comes in. Right now, you don't have a lot. Hey, uh, what else do we have out here? We're going to look at uh, Metamucil. Is that Meta now? I think, isn't it? Uh, Metamucil, it is. Um, yeah, I mean, the only good thing is you didn't really have a lot of volume uh, last week. Today, breaking that low and significantly... Uh, looks like it's going to continue on, so I don't see much in that. Uh, to, to question about Disney, is it ready to turn? They had a horrible weekend. Uh, we talked last Friday about them having a horrible week. Uh, besides uh, the Chinese threatening to take uh, Disney World uh, China from them, uh, they got panned on Buzz Lightyear, and I think they got... Uh, $50 million opening weekend, which was horrible for a movie like that. Uh, overall budget's about $600 million. So the question is whether they can even make their money back. I kind of like the, you know, the Toy Story things, especially since uh, a lot of that was done in, in the vein of my work in the, in the 90s. Uh, Toy Story was, was, of course, the first animated full-length computer animated uh, uh, show or movie. But uh, to that point, everything else had been bit parts and part of it. But uh, I don't know. Uh, if uh, Tim Allen doesn't do the voice of Buzz Lightyear, was that a stupid mistake? I think anybody my age, if they were taking their grandkids or or uh, had younger kids, yeah, they probably still remember what his voice sounded like. I don't think it's a great idea to change that. Besides, he's still around and he's fine. It's not like he couldn't do it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, weird. Anyway, uh, $50 million into $600 million, uh, opening week. Um, they're going to be lucky to break even on this deal on what I thought probably should have been a... a uh, uh, a, a home run with uh, all three bases uh, on there, but uh, not much happening for the Disney company today. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, question about the IBB. Let's take a look here. We had a lot of biotechs that were heavily shorted. Um, we talked a bit about this uh the IBB did look fairly good on Thursday last week. You had the May 12th low at 105, 36 with 4.7 million shares. Uh, your max volume out of here was uh, the uh, 
was uh, 3 million shares. So you popped uh, fairly decently on Friday. You got a little bit more of a gap. 114 is going to be very strong resistance, though, in this. So you may have gotten the lion's share uh, of uh, at least the index over the next couple of days. I also have a question on the TLT, which we'll get back to. Um, what do you have here? You got, uh, you know, you had that kind of a little, almost a little, uh, well, you had a doji. Now you got a tombstone forming out here today. My guess is uh, this and the dollar are, uh, the Fed is going to probably start trying to keep the volatility uh, limited uh, for a while. I think we were talking about gold when we broke and I didn't get back to it. Let's take a quick look at that. Um, yeah, I, you know, did you break that? What was the low? 168.30. So you did test the low of May 13th. Let's see if we can't get a better chart of it here. You tested the low, but the volume was the same. I don't think much changed from uh, our question on Friday. And that is you want to see 168 tested. Uh, in the GLD and what that uh, actually refers to in the uh, actual futures. I'm not sure, but uh, pretty easy to take a guess out here. A uh, question about the XME. Uh, that we get a bounce out of here, we might start looking for a little bit more. I do like uh, that you didn't blow out the lows with volume. You had 10 million shares on May 12th at 47.65. You got back in it. Uh, what's the close here? 47.41. You need another 20 cents uh, to get back into the trading range. But again, it, I like to see two things. I like to see the lighter volume, which this did have, and lighter energy going down, which this did not have. Uh, if you get both of those, a uh, much better chance you're going to have a V bottom. Uh, more likely, you're going to have some consolidation as you go across uh, the XME. Uh, over the next uh, few weeks than a big V bottom. A uh, question from Ron and some others out here. We'll look at Workday, W-D-A-Y. Uh, okay. Okay. What do we see? Yeah, you don't really have much in this. Again, a lot of these came down, especially this last leg on most enter on more energy from June second high down to the June sixteenth low. I don't see anything. I mean, you got more energy, so I don't see a whole lot of bounce out of that one. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, uh, let's see, look at Apple. Uh, question about Amazon. Now, we talked about this when it did make its low. Your first low at 102.41 at 132. You tested it with 103, had a really nice move higher. Only slightly lighter volume back to the previous low of 100 million shares. So you got your second low with a little lighter volume. I would have liked to have seen a lot more. You got a little bit of a doji out here, too. Uh, these big caps, you know, maybe they're going to need a lot more consolidation than maybe the medium caps are that I've seen out here. Okay, what else do we have? Um, A question on Tesla. We were talking in the day about this. Uh, kind of interesting, a huge move out here. I just very tough for me to see if there's enough uh, raw materials uh, and rare earths uh, to move that many people. Uh, that's uh, but uh, a nice day with some decent money. We'll be back in a minute. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we uh, come back uh, to uh, a market that's uh, kind of hanging on to some fairly nice bounce uh, as you get these uh, big kind of bounces in a bear market, as we've talked about so far, almost 100 points on the SP cash. So what are we going to do? We're going to look at the volume. And again, as we said, 18 billion shares on Friday. Part of that is quad witching. Uh, 8.4 billion shares so far today. So, yeah, we're getting kind of a bounce out of here. Is it going to be a huge one? Eh, I don't know. Part of it, probably options rollover. That continues tomorrow. Uh, if you, if uh, the first day of options rollover is up about 80% of the time, the next day is down. And ideally, if you're thinking we're going to get that kind of uh, couple of weeks up, as I think I am, I am believing that is the path we have now. Uh, that you want to see this pull back on lighter volume tomorrow and to see a lighter volume rally maybe all the way through the first or second week of July. So keep an eye on those volumes. Uh, just because it's light volume doesn't mean it can't go higher. This means that uh, you're setting up for the next real big move. Uh, as we look at the rest of them, as we said, uh, is it a, a huge volume day for these? No, it's more about price. And of course, a lot of these uh, are what you're watching is the wheat being uh, separated from the chaff. 
and uh, that's pretty good. Anyway, that's probably kind of it. I don't think there's a lot you can hang your hat on. Uh, we were talking about Tesla when we left. It's a good day. It does have good volume. My guess is a lot of people were short this thing. You do have a higher volume low than the previous low. It didn't quite get there either. So 620 is probably going to get tested. As I said, probably still looking around uh, 530 long term test. Sell when you can, not when you have to. That'll be the next few weeks. And we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bad time. Same bad time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most.